can't there see it. There you go, is it? <laughs> I have no idea what That's it is. Pretty good size, isn't it? That's one. Nice one. I think you do have one. It's a fish, Bob. You gotta catch them pretty fast. The guy don't show up until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Go fishing. I see fishing on the street or a little bit. First hook up. First hook up. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Come and go along with me. Oh, my goodness. You see it? There's one, there's one. Yes, sir, spinner plug fish. Right off the bat, nice one, not bad. Not a giant, but not bad. <laughs> not a giant, but not bad. Fishing in Brazil today with my buddy, Lewis Shaw. Peacock. Peacock bass, you're right. <laughs> Peacock. Lewis, the pilot, pilot for FedEx. Retired military guy. Did I hear somebody say Lieutenant Colonel Lewis? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. <laughs> ah, I got to drop on him, though. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Nice way he to did. start right there. Nice way to start right there. <laughs> Leave the bait in. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Woo, that's a good way to start right there, Lewis. Yes, a good sir. way to start. Yes, sir. That's a good way to start. Look at there, he just barely hooked. Look what he did to my, my legend spinnerbait. They crater a spinnerbait. They crater a spinnerbait. Wow, what a start to a day right there. That is perfect. Mm. Boy, that is a good way to start. What is that? That's five, six pounds, isn't it? Pound. How many? Six? Six pounds. Six? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now we gotta work on our spinnerbait. Peacock! Peacock! <laughs> Look at my bait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but look at that how they bend them backwards look at that it's bent totally backwards it's like getting your leg broke or something they don't last too long down here but it's always fun to see one jump up here and get the bait like that okay great start That's what i'm talking about oh, there he is there's another one there's another one right on that old dirt point right there <laughs> These fish don't see spinner baits a whole lot down there because everybody wants to throw those real noisy baits. This is a small one. Not real small, but you catch a two pounder and they fight like crazy down here. That's the amazing thing. They're just, yeah, look, they look at that fish. He's pulling like about a five or six pound bass. And I promise you, he's nowhere close to five or six pounds. Mm -hmm. Perfect catch. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> that's, my, that's a cast I love right there. <laughs> Get everything out of them, turn them loose. Look at this bait. That is amazing. Even the little tiny one did that to that bait. This bait's not going to last too long today. I love them. I love them. Boy, they like that spinner plug now. They're liking that. Sp oh, there's another one. There's another one right there. Yep, Woo! these things pull. Honey hole. I moved down to a six and a half foot rod. They use seven, seven and a half foot rods a lot. I moved to a little shorter rod so I could throw it good with a spinnerbait. That's more fun to catch them too. That's just a small one. They fight good, don't they? Oh, they, they pull like they're gonna, like they weigh 40 pounds. Man. <sighs> Accident, that's what I'm talking Spinner about. Spinnerbait. That's not a bad fish. There's nothing wrong with that fish right there. Mm -hmm. Tiny <laughs> Spinner bait. Say goose to spinner eight. Say goose to spinner eight, huh? Yeah. Probably the wrong word in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good though. He said yeah, so I guess he meant he liked it. Look at that. <laughs> a lot of the fish that we're catching are the, the El Tigres. You know, they got a lot of spots on them. You're gonna straighten my spinner bait up for me. Uh, and they, pound for pound, these I think, I think, uh, Wayne or the or the Wayne, I think Lewis. These are the uh, the strongest fish, pound for pound. Oh man! But they don't grow like 18, 20 pounds right. like those big bar peacock right. do. This is a. Uh, but that fish was so strong. Hey, got my spinnerbait fixed for me. Almost. Can't beat a deal like that, huh? Not quite. Ah. Hey, got he it come back. back and got it, didn't he? He wanted it. Came back and got it. Yeah. Got the jig fish. 
I knew you behind it. I knew you'd catch one on that jig pretty quick. I knew you wasn't gonna be shut out on that jig very no. long. Yeah. yeah. Get his little brother there. That that you know Matt, what first one I caught, that's what they're in there feeding on. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, golly. <laughs> that nearly got my rod. Look at that. Hey. He nearly got my rod. He jerked a rod out of my hand. I caught it with my other hand. He jerked a rod out of my hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not very big. He's oh, not a giant man. at all. I hope we should get off. I tell everybody he's 25 pounds. <laughs> he's pretty nice. I mean, he's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a big fish, but golly. He jerked the rod out of my hand. I mean, jerked the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Period. Period. I mean, jerked the rod out of my hand. Oh, he's a, another six pounder. At least he's heavy. <laughs> Golly. Good. Good. <laughs> Mucho bueno, mi amigo. Wow, look at that fish. Sure. Sure, give me here, stuff. Is that Here we go, guys. Ready? One, two, three. Jeez. All right, oh. shoot one by myself. Just shoot one by myself. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes, sir. One, one more. There we go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nice fish. Mm -hmm. nice. That fish did everything but get my rod and reel. I mean, he did everything but get my rod and reel. He jerked it smooth out of my hand. I caught it in my right hand. He jerked it out of my left hand, I caught it in my right hand. It was gone city. Dang, you'd have had to go swimming and get my rod and reel. <laughs> this portion of Jimmy Houston Outdoors has been brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Jimmy Houston Outdoors, America's favorite fishing show, is brought to you by Tracker Boats. Call 1-800-TRACKER today. By Mercury Marine, go boldly. By Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you do. And by Super Start Batteries, available exclusively at O'Reilly Auto Parts. There's the one. There's the one. Yeah, a little better one, isn't it? I don't know how big he is. Ran for the bushes. He went for that bushes. I think he might be one of those five pounders. <laughs> I get him. I get him. I get him. I get him. I got him. I got him. I got him. He's bigger than five pounds, maybe. Oh, well, he's in them bushes. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a nice one. Oh, that's nice, Jimmy. Good fish, good fish. He's tired. They fight all the way to the boat. Look at that. Another one of them six pounders. I'm telling you. Gracias, Joe. Oh, that's bigger than that. That's bigger than, that's the biggest one we've all right there. Not as big as the one that broke my line, but that's the biggest one of all. One of my picture, I guess, huh? We need, we probably need to stop taking pictures of six pounders and seven pounders. That one's over six. six <laughs> Joe's a camera hog, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> one more. <laughs> <laughs> Good. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> that is it. That is it, Lucille. Woo. Wow. My poor spinner bait. Man. And I'm probably gonna need to retie. I probably need to retie. I'm gonna use up every spinner bait I have with me. I brought about a dozen, is all I brought. I'm gonna use every single one of them. And then I'm gonna go down to local bass pro shop here and <laughs> buy me some more. Well, I don't know how far it is the local bass pro shop. Scissors, necesito, necesito scissors. <laughs> he was in there, he was in that hole. Golly. 
Boy, they run through those woods. I mean, they run through the woods. Amazing the way they run through those woods. He's just going deeper and deeper. He's taking line. He's wrapped. He's way down. He's way up in front of. He's way up in front of me. Yeah, I know it. He's way up there. He's way up there. Is that crazy? It is. Hold up, Jimmy. You got one? Yep. Small one. Why don't you get all the big ones? Look where my fish is. Yeah. Will you look where this fish is? How big is the one you got? Small. Now he's still on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. He's still taking line out. Looky here. Looky here. What he's got a got a peacock bass stick. They're not bad about getting hung up. They don't, they're not like a bass wrapping up and stuff. They just run through stuff. I may go through all my spinner baits before noon. He's still taking line right now. He's still taking line. We got the line again. Hold, hold that rod yep. real. You might have to give him line at times. Huh? Okay. A little one? The pecan he said, a little little peacock. He's about got him. We got him. We got him. We are 40 yards down the bank. We are 40 yards down the bank. I got a briar bush. In the jungle. We are 40 yards down the bank. We're from where I hooked that fish. He went through all of the jungle. He went through all that jungle back there. That, that's more than 10 pounds. Hey, amigo. Ah, uh, my, my, uh, more than 10 pounds. Oh, look at my poor spinner bait. 13. 13 pounds. <laughs> look at that. Ready? Good. Yeah. Woo! That's just following the fish. Bogo? Mm -hmm. Tiny Bogo? We're going to weigh him. Quatos? 14 pounds. 14. Man. 14 pounds. Ah. Yes, sir. Golly. <laughs> wow, what a peacock. Look at how beautiful he is. <laughs> I don't know if he's tired, but I sure am. Get this out of my I need to check and see how my heart rate is on my Garmin watch here. My heart rate is was 140. No. My kidding. heart rate right now is down to 69. Look at that. My heart rate is down to 69. It was at 140. Look at that. 140. <laughs> 140. This portion of Jimmy Houston Outdoors is brought to you by Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor. Jimmy's Look Back is brought to you by Tracker Boats. Call 1-800-TRACKER today. Camp Smile a Mile. And it, Camp Smile a Mile is really not a camp, is it, Jeff? Not, it's not as a such. It's a fundraising deal. Sure is. And uh, it's uh, for kids, you know, with cancer. And uh, I'm on the board of directors, I'm proud to say. And we've been doing this for about uh, three years in a row. The first time was over at Lake Gunnersville. And uh, a lot of kids got to catch their first fish there. And uh, one little girl called, caught a shad about that long. Oh, she was where's tickled. The... And there's a lot of catfish, a lot of perch. We're going to be visiting yeah. with some of the kids. All the money that they raise for Camp Smile a Mile is used to take kids to camp like four or five different times throughout the summer they go to various camps and rent the camps and take the kids fishing and let them have a good time and let them get that camping experience that uh, that all of us enjoy so much so let's uh, let's fish with these kids and see if maybe you think you can catch fish good as they can no, not according to what's going on this I've morning i've been watching no. them catch them of course uh, i'm throwing this they're fishing with crickets that's so. right <laughs> they're doing better too <laughs> what does that tell you yeah <laughs> Look at that, here we go again. <laughs> Woo, boy, that didn't take long, did it? Let me ask you, how high can you? Get him, get him. No, what? I'm gonna take him off. How high can you count? Pretty high, can you count to 100? Can you? How many fish have you caught now? Throw him back. Throw him back. Look, he's looking at you. He's winking at you. I ain't taking him. Here, just grab him and throw him back. Uh-uh. Huh, you sure? Jimmy's Look Back has been brought to you by 
Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Come on. I came back and got it. I don't think he's very big. It's Piranha. Piranha. See? Si. Piranha. Cuidado. Soup. Cuidado, mi amigo. Cuidado. Very, very careful. <laughs> you can see how careful he is oh, with yeah. him. Para comida? Huh? No. No? Hold him up. Hold, hold him up. Let me see him. Hold, hold him up. Look at you there. Piranha. Look at the teeth in that sucker right there. Those are razor sharp. If you put your hand down there, he'd clamp down on it. If you put your finger down there, just touch him like you were touching him, he would clamp down. That's a nice size piranha right there. That's about a, probably a two and a half pound piranha. They get seven or eight pounds. Look at the red eyes on them. They got red eyes just like I put on the lures. I want to be able to see how big that piranha is. That piranha is, uh, it says here that piranha is uh, 4.2, that's kilos? Hey, kilos, 4.2, so two pounds, two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. I'm gonna give it a little sugar. <laughs> Not. Adios, Piranha. All right. There he is. Got him. Yep. Good one. Nice. Well, I don't good. know. <laughs> He's kind of fighting that way, isn't he? <laughs> He's acting pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Oh no, it's good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Hell oh, yeah. That'll work. That'll work. That's what happened when they show us where they are. There's one over there on the other side. Did you see, uh, did you see the way he turned him loose head down so he could, oh, one, yeah. one missed mine right there. So he could get, yeah, one hit it right here at the boat. So he could make sure he got away from that porpoise that's in here. Look at that current in here. Boy, that current's ripping through here, man. Look at that. Little fish. <laughs> Got him. Fish. Fish. Big one? A little better. All right, big fish. Getting in the brush. <laughs> Get him out of that brush there, Lewis. Get him out of that brush. Big fish? Not big. Nah, not big. Good. You got him now, don't you? Okay. Yeah, he's out now. That's a good one, though. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. That's a nice fish. Mm -hmm. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry. That's what I'm talking about. He's right there. He almost jumped in the boat. You better get to fish. Mm -hmm. All right, good one, Woo! good one. Way to go, Lewis. All right. You got it? I got, I got it. I got you covered right here. Got you covered, me amigo. Amigo. <laughs> Know the ham. <laughs> Jimmy Houston Outdoors is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By High Seas, when the money's on the line. By Jackson Kayak, Advantage Fisherman. By Orion Coolers, never lose your cool. And by Lucky Strike, where preparation and opportunity collide. Houston's Helpful Hits is brought to you by Jimmy Houston High Tech Performance Fishing Rods. 
One of the key things you always want to look for when you're out fishing is some moving water. If you can find water moving, you're probably going to be able to find some fish. You know, one of the key things that, that Lewis and I was able to do out here today was to find water that was moving through cuts and canals. And once we find that water moving through, there'd be some bait fish there. And of course, if you got bait fish there, there's larger fish there. Now, it's not only, you're not, you're not always just looking for places where there's water running through. You can use the wind to your advantage also. The wind, as it's blowing, it's blowing water up on a bank and it's moving water water out down below it. So think about that also. But one of the things that you need to always be looking for is moving water, whether it's wind, whether it's current, whether it's tidal. One of the great things about fishing some of the tidal waters is that you know you're going to always have water moving every single day. And you need to key on that moving water. In tidal water, uh, generally it's when the water's falling is when it's the very best, not when it's coming up, it's when it's falling. But if you're fishing water, tidal water, one of the key things you want to remember is that a depth, whatever depth you find the fish, that's what you want to concentrate on regardless of what the water level may be as the tide comes up as the tide comes down if you're catching your fish let's say four foot deep concentrate in four foot of water don't worry about the spots worry about the depth moving water can be your friend it can be something that can really allow you to catch a lot of fish but the moving water concentrates bait bait concentrates big fish Well, it's late in the day and the sun's getting low. Caught me a big one, but I let him go. I sure had fun just watching him stretch my line. I made me a lifetime memory out here fishing Jimmy Houston and me. Hey, Jimmy, I think we'll have to go again. 